In this tutorial we're going to show you just how easy it is to export tree models from Forrester Pro directly into Unity. And for the tutorial we're going to use the free pine model that comes with, with Forrester Lite, the free version of Forrester Pro. And like any other model we can take uh, a template and randomize that template by pressing the space button. And then we can manually, if we want, change that, that tree model by selecting and moving around leaves and branches. And for more information about this, see, see our other tutorials. It couldn't be much simpler to export for Unity. We simply go to the Export menu. And not surprisingly, we click uh, Export for Unity. There's a couple of other functions on here. Perhaps the most important is the Alpha Threshold, which helps control the transparency on leaf textures. But for now, we'll just go to Export and enter a, a name for our export directory. And then press OK. And as simple as that, Forrester will now write those, those files to that directory. To import our tree models, we just go to the Unit Project directory and then navigate to Assets, Standard Assets, Terrain Assets, and then to the Trees Ambient Occlusion folder and simply paste our export directory directly into this folder. In the Copied Export directory, you'll find the model file, which is in Collider format, and also the textures required for that model. Because we've copied our model files directly to the Trees Ambient Occlusion folder, the models will be automatically imported by Unity when it loads the project and so immediately available for use inside the editor. So here's a terrain we created earlier and we can just drag and drop our tree model directly into the terrain and you can see there's the tree mesh and all we need to do is select the mesh and specify the textures that we're using for both the leaves and the bark and they should have been imported uh, during the startup of Unity along with the, the tree model and be available within the materials list. And so here's our tree imported into Unity and we can see our very nice high resolution textures produced by Forrester Pro. Since we'd like to paint our tree directly on the terrain we need to ensure that it's using the proper shaders so we just click on the tree and then in the materials inspector just make sure the shaders are set to tree soft occlusion leaves and tree soft occlusion bark which they were done automatically during this import. Then we need to add a, a, a new prefab and so we right click and go to create new prefab and then simply drag the tree model from the hierarchy to that prefab and give our prefab a characteristic name. To paint our tree on the terrain we need to set our new tree prefab as a new brush for the tree painter within the terrain editor. So simply click on the terrain to go to the terrain editor on the tree painter and then to add tree and select the new tree prefab. Then in the tree painter we can change the properties of the brush. So for example we can reduce the brush size so we paint less trees we can reduce the tree density so the number of trees per unit area is less and then to add some variation into the trees that we are painting we can change the tree height variation and the tree width variation sliders in order to to create some randomness and there we go we can just paint our trees directly onto the landscape Unity automatically produces billboards for those trees that are furthest from the camera increasing the performance of our application. Although Unity recommends that tree models should be less than 2000 faces, this particular model is actually double that and yet performs remarkably well within Unity. Forrester Pro as well as high resolution models can also produce lower resolution LODs that can be used directly in Unity. Forrester Pro tree models are also compatible with Unity's wind effects to add wind effects we can go to game object and add a wind zone and then we need to change the bend factor of the trees within the tree painter so we're going to the terrain editor to the tree painter select the prefab and go to edit tree and then add a, a value say 0 0.5 into the bend factor we've already added a first person controller to this level so we can press play and inspect our trees as they would appear in gameplay and you can see that they're gently moving in the wind zone. 
Forester Pro trees are also compatible with the light mapping available within Unity. To generate a light map in Unity, we just need to ensure we have a, a directional light and set up the shadows to either hard or soft shadows. If you're using the free version of Unity, you'll get an error message reminding you that you can only use real-time shadows within Unity Pro. To create a light map, simply go to Windows, Light Mapping, and select Bake Scene in the Light Mapping menu. And then Unity will calculate the shadows from the terrain and from the Forrester Pro models. You can download Forrester Pro from our website. The unregistered version, Forrester Light, can be used to produce an unlimited number of random tree models of seven different types and those models are available for use for development purposes within your projects. The registered version Forrester Pro can be used to create custom trees using your own templates and tree designs. And these models are royalty free and can even be sold on the Unity Asset Store. Anyway, we hope you enjoy using Forrester Pro and that you use it to make some really great games.